What are you doing? Now it's God is up. After a very shouty announcement this time last year, we were intrigued to see what Sony's E3 2017 conference would show us of God of War. While it wasn't a full fat gameplay demo, we did at least get a pretty lengthy trailer, teasing a few story details and, of course, some of the combat. It moved along at a pretty swift pace though, so we went back over it a few times to bring you 8 cool little details we noticed. Pleasingly, Kratos spent a good chunk of the trailer doing what he does best, namely hacking monstrous enemies to bits. Although he seems a bit more somber and less shouty than we're used to seeing him this time around. You do not know everything, boy. That axe of his certainly seems to come in handy though, returning to his hand at will and also triggering some kind of frost-based area of effect attack here. <laughs> Kratos also comes armed with a fold-out shield, although don't take that as a sign he's going completely soft. He mostly just uses it to cave in his enemies' faces. The few brief glimpses of combat that we saw kind of makes it look like he fights like a cross between Captain America and, fittingly enough, Thor. Unsurprisingly, this being a God of War game, there are some pretty dauntingly sized enemies on show in the trailer, including this guy who gets crushed with his own glowing manier thing. <laughs> Luckily, some of the bigger guys shown are already dead, like this seriously impressive looking Jotun. Most impressive of all though is how willing Kratos' son is to get involved. Last time we saw him, he was getting yelled at for being a timid, lousy shot. But here, he's got no problem stabbing an enemy in the head or jumping on someone else's back. Particular shout out to Kratos for cutting loose with his axe despite the fact he could easily have killed a boy. Not sure he's gonna win father of the year with that approach. Unfortunately, there was no UI on show during the trailer, which did help show off how pretty God of War looks. But it does mean there's only so much we can glean from the combat without being able to see any details on multipliers. The trailer wasn't all hacking and maiming, mind you. We also got a couple of brief glimpses of father and son getting out and about in the world, shimmying up rock faces and paddling a boat out over some still water. We know already that God of War isn't an open world game, but it still gives an encouraging sense of scale to the game world. And that sense of scale is something that God of War fans will know well. Speaking of the game world, the trailer goes pretty hard on the story elements, reminding us Kratos is a long way from home. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. We also get a shot of what might well be Thor's hammer Mjolnir, which is particularly interesting as Kratos is shown cozying up to his arch nemesis. I am. The new footage focuses heavily on Kratos' possible alliance with the World Serpent, also known as the Midgard Serpent or Jormungandir. The World Serpent is one of Loki's three children and one of the main players in bringing about Ragnarok, Norse mythology's end of the world as we know it. Loki's other children are Fenrir and Hel. Hel with one L, she's a bit more elusive, but it's possible Fenrir, the wolf, is indeed the figure with glowing eyes that we get a brief glimpse of in the trailer. What's interesting about him is, he was foretold to kill the god Odin during the events of Ragnarok, but would in turn be killed by Odin's son. There are millions of theories out there right now floating around the internet about whether Kratos is or isn't Odin and his son Atreus is or isn't Thor, or even if Atreus is a living embodiment of Ragnarok itself, which might explain all this curse chat. You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. But no matter which theory is true, the Fenrir inclusion is an interesting thread for the story to pick at. Family ties are definitely going to be a big thing in this one. There's also this nice moment in which Kratos takes some time to contemplate a Grecian urn depicting, well, him. You'll notice Kratos keeps his forearms bandaged up throughout the trailer too, but you can still see the faint scars of the many sets of blades he's had over the years where chains were literally seared to his arms. Hopefully we'll get an explanation as to how exactly Kratos ended up in Midgard, probably right before he starts making all the Norse gods, I don't know, swallow their own teeth. And that about does it for all the details we spotted in the God of War trailer. What do you think? Are you excited? 
If there's anything of interest you spotted, leave us a comment as there's plenty more to unpack here at a later date. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, there are loads more for you to watch from this year's E3. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else. See ya! What is it saying? Ah,